Ramakrishna Mission RKM is a Hindu religious and spiritual organization which forms the core of a worldwide spiritual movement known as the Ramakrishna Movement or the Vedanta Movement. The mission is named after and inspired by the Indian saint Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and founded by Ramakrishna's chief disciple Swami Vivekananda on 1 May 1897. The organization chiefly propagates to the Hindu philosophy of Vedanta Advaita Vedanta and four yogic ideals jnana, bhakti, karma, and raja yoga. Apart from religious and spiritual teaching, the organization carries out extensive educational and philanthropic work in India. This aspect came to be a feature of many other Hindu movements. The mission bases its work on the principles of karma yoga, the principle of selfless work done with dedication to God. The Ramakrishna Mission has centers around the world and publishes many important Hindu texts. It is affiliated with the monastic organization Ramakrishna Math, with whom it shares members. Overview The Math and the Mission are the two key organizations that direct the work of the socio-religious Ramakrishna movement influenced by 19th-century Saint Ramakrishna Paramahamsa and founded by his chief disciple Vivekananda. Also referred to as the Ramakrishna Order, the Math is the movement's monastic organization. Founded by Ramakrishna in 1886, the Math primarily focuses on spiritual training and the propagation of the movement's teachings. The mission, founded by Vivekananda in 1897, is a humanitarian organization which carries out medical, relief, and educational programs. Both the organizations have headquarters at the Baylor Math. The mission acquired a legal status when it was registered in 1909 under Act 21 of 1860. Its management is vested in a governing body. Though the mission with its branches is a distinct legal entity, it is closely related to the math. The elected trustees of the math also serve as mission's governing body. Vedanta societies comprise the American arm of the movement and work more in purely spiritual field rather than social welfare. History Ramakrishna Paramahamsa (1836–1886), regarded as a 19th-century saint, was the inspirator of the Ramakrishna order of monks and is regarded as the spiritual founder of the Ramakrishna movement. Ramakrishna was a priest in the Dakshineswar Kali Temple and attracted several monastic and householder disciples. Narendranath Dutta, who later became Vivekananda, was one of the chief monastic disciples. According to Vrajaprana, shortly before his death in 1886 Ramakrishna gave the ochre cloths to his young disciples, who were planning to become renunciates. Ramakrishna entrusted the care of these young boys to Vivekananda. After Ramakrishna's death, the young disciples of Ramakrishna gathered and practiced spiritual disciplines. They took informal monastic vows on a night which to their pleasant surprise turned out to be the Christmas Eve in 1886. After the death of Ramakrishna in 1886, the monastic disciples formed the first math monastery at Baranagore. Later Vivekananda became a wandering monk and in 1893 he was a delegate at the 1893 Parliament of the World's Religions. His speech there, beginning with, Sisters and Brothers of America, became famous and brought him widespread recognition. Vivekananda went on lecture tours and held private discourses on Hinduism and spirituality. He also founded the first Vedanta Society in the United States at New York. He returned to India in 1897 and founded the Ramakrishna Mission on 1 May 1897. Though he was a Hindu monk and was hailed as the first Hindu missionary in modern times, he exhorted his followers to be true to their faith but respect all religions of the world as his guru Ramakrishna had taught that all religions are pathways to God. One such example is his exhortation that one can be born in a church but he or she should not die in a church meaning that one should realize the spiritual truths for themselves and not stop at blindly believing in doctrines taught to them. The same year, famine relief was started at Sargachi by Swami Akhandananda, a direct disciple of Ramakrishna. Swami Brahmananda, a direct disciple of Ramakrishna was appointed as the first president of the order. After the death of Vivekananda in 1902, Sarada Devi, the spiritual counterpart of Ramakrishna, played an important role as the advisory head of a nascent monastic organization. Gayatri Spivak writes that Sarada Devi performed her role with tact and wisdom, always remaining in the background. Administration 
The Ramakrishna Math is administered by a democratically elected board of trustees. From amongst themselves, the trustees elect president, vice presidents, general secretary, assistant secretaries and treasurer. For the confirmation of the election of the president, vice presidents and the general secretary, the opinion of monks of 20 years standing is sought and taken. The Ramakrishna Mission is administered by a governing body, which is composed of the democratically elected trustees of Ramakrishna Math. The headquarters of Ramakrishna Math at Baylor, popularly known as Baylor Math, serves also as the headquarters of Ramakrishna Mission. A branch center of Ramakrishna Math is managed by a team of monks posted by the trustees led by a head monk with the title Adyaksha. A branch center of Ramakrishna Mission is governed by a managing committee consisting of monks and lay persons appointed by the governing body of Ramakrishna Mission whose secretary, almost always a monk, functions as the executive head. All the monks of the Ramakrishna order form the democratic base of the administration. They form the counterpart to the organization of what is parliament to the nation. A representative meeting of all monks is held every three years, at Baylor Math, during October to November. This meeting has come to be known as Monks Conference. The conference is for the duration of three days. A few months prior to the conference all the monks are notified about the dates and are asked to suggest subjects for discussion and to send resolutions to be taken up for discussion. The agenda is finalized based on the suggestions received. On the first day of the conference, the General Secretary on behalf of all elected trustees, places the report of all the activities that had taken place in the organization, during the years that had gone by since they met last. The accounts are then placed before the conference by the monk in charge of accounts. The conference passes the accounts and discusses the report of activities. The minutes of the earlier conference too is passed. The monks also condole the deaths that had occurred in their ranks in the years between successive conferences. The proposals of monks are voted upon if necessary. Thus the monks' conference plays a very important constitutional role of placing its seal of approval on the decisions taken by the trustees elected by them and giving policy guidance for further works of the organization. The first such formal conference was held in 1935. The latest and the 25th such conference was held on 5, 6 and 7 November 2015. The scope of the administration follows the detailed rules made by Swami Vivekananda when he was the general president of Ramakrishna Mission. These rules were formed when the monastic brothers in 1898 wished that there should be specific rules for the work of the Ramakrishna Mission as the Ramakrishna movement is commonly known. They were dictated by Swami Vivekananda to Swami Sudananda, between 1898 and 1899, and has been accepted as the consensus of the opinion of all the monks of the Ramakrishna Mission then, consisting of all the disciples of Sri Ramakrishna and their disciples. Later for clear and formal legal confirmation of these rules, a trust deed was registered by Swami Vivekananda and many of the other disciples of Sri Ramakrishna, during 1899-1901. The motto and the principles The aims and ideals of the mission are purely spiritual and humanitarian and has no connection with politics. Vivekananda proclaimed, "...renunciation and service," as the twofold national ideals of modern India and the work of the mission strives to practice and preach these. The service activities are based on the message of, "...jiva is Shiva," from Ramakrishna and Vivekananda's message of, Daridra Narayana, to indicate that service to poor is service to God. The principles of Upanishads and Yoga in Bhagavad Gita reinterpreted in the light of Ramakrishna's life and teachings is the main source of inspiration for the mission. The service activities are rendered looking upon all as veritable manifestation of the divine. The motto of the organization is Atmano Makshartham Jagad Hitaya Cha. Translated from Sanskrit Atmano Moksartham Jagaditaya Ka it means for one's own salvation, and for the good of the world. <inaudible> Monastic order After the death of Ramakrishna in 1886 his young disciples organized themselves into a new monastic order. The original monastery at Baranagar known as Baranagar Math was subsequently moved to the nearby Alambazar area in 1892, then to Nilambar Mukherjee's Garden House, south of the present Baylor Math in 1898 before finally being shifted in January 1899 to a newly acquired plot of land at Baylor in Howrah district by Vivekananda. 
This monastery, known as the Baylor Math, serves as the mother house for all the monks of the order who live in the various branch centers of the Math and or the mission in different parts of India and the world. All members of the order undergo training and ordination at Baylor Math. A candidate for monastic life is treated as a pre-probationer during the first year of his stay at any center, and as a probationer during the next four years. At the end of this period he is ordained into celibacy brahmacharya and is given certain vows pradijna, the most important of which are chastity, renunciation and service. After a further period of four years, if found fit, he is ordained into sannyasa and given the ochre clothes to wear. <laughs> Attitude towards politics Swami Vivekananda forbade his organization from taking part in any political movement or activity, on the basis of the idea that holy men are apolitical. However, presently, almost 95% of the monks possess voter ID cards. For the sake of identification and particularly for traveling, almost 95% of the monks are forced to seek a voter ID card. But they use it only for identification purpose and not for voting. As individuals, the monks may have political opinions, but these are not meant to be discussed in public. The mission, had, however, supported the movement of Indian independence, with a section of the monks keeping close relations with freedom fighters of various camps. A number of political revolutionaries later joined the Ramakrishna order. Emblem <inaudible> 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 Designed and explained by Swami Vivekananda in his own words The wavy waters in the picture are symbolic of karma, the lotus, of bhakti, and the rising sun, of jnana. The encircling serpent is indicative of yoga and the awakened kundalini shakti, while the swan in the picture stands for paramatman supreme self. Therefore, the idea of the picture is that by the union of karma, jnana, bhakti and yoga, the vision of paramatman is obtained. Topic. Activities The principal workers of the mission are the monks. The mission's activities cover the following areas Education Health care Cultural activities Rural uplift Tribal welfare Youth movement etc. The mission has its own hospitals, charitable dispensaries, maternity clinics, tuberculosis clinics, and mobile dispensaries. It also maintains training centers for nurses. Orphanages and homes for the elderly are included in the mission's field of activities, along with rural and tribal welfare work. The mission has established many renowned educational institutions in India, having its own university, colleges, vocational training centers, high schools and primary schools, teacher training institutes, as well as schools for the visually handicapped. It has also been involved in disaster relief operations during famine, epidemic, fire, flood, earthquake, cyclone, and communal disturbances. The mission played an important role in the installation of photovoltaic (PV) lighting systems in the Sundarbans region of West Bengal. Due to the geographical features of the Sundarbans, it is very difficult to extend the grid network to supply power to its population. The PV lighting was used to provide electricity to the people who were traditionally depending on kerosene and diesel. Topic: <inaudible> Religious activities. The mission is a non-sectarian organization and ignores caste distinctions. Ramakrishna Ashrama's religious activities include satsang and arati. Satsang includes communal prayers, songs, rituals, discourses, reading and meditation. Arati involves the ceremonial waving of lights before the images of a deity of holy person and is performed twice in a day. Ramakrishna Ashramas observes major Hindu festivals, including Maha Shivratri, Rama Navami, Krishna Ishtama and Durga Puja. They also give special place to the birthdays of Ramakrishna, Sarada Devi, Swami Vivekananda, and other monastic disciples of Ramakrishna. The 1st of January is celebrated as Kalpataru Day. The Math and the Mission are known for their religious tolerance and respect for other religions. Among the earliest rules laid down by Swami Vivekananda for them was: Due respect and reverence should be paid to all religions, all preachers, and to the deities worshipped in all religions. Acceptance and toleration of all religions is the one of ideals of Ramakrishna math and mission. Along with the major Hindu festivals, Christmas Eve and Buddha's birthday are also devoutly observed. 
Cyril Velayath of Sophia University writes that the Ramakrishna Mission monks are a relatively orthodox set of monks who are extremely well respected both in India and abroad, and that they cannot be classified as just another sect or cult, such as the groups led by the gurus. Velayath writes that of the Hindu groups I have worked with I have found the Ramakrishna mission to be the most tolerant and amenable to dialogue, and I believe that we Christians couldn't do better, than to cooperate wholeheartedly in their efforts towards inter-religious harmony. Bob Robinson writes, "...unlike more militant Hindu organizations, the mission has consistently advocated and itself displayed a tolerant, friendly attitude towards minority religious traditions and a sympathetic acquaintance with at least parts of the scriptures of those faiths." Topic. Awards and honorable mentions The Ramakrishna Mission has received numerous accolades throughout its lifetime Bhagwan Mahavir Foundation Award 1996. Dr. Ambedkar National Award 1996. Dr. Bawar Singh Port Tribal Service Award 1997-98. In 1998 the mission was awarded the Indian government's prestigious Gandhi Peace Prize. Shahid Veer Narayan Singh Award 2001. P.T. Ravishankar Shukla Award 2002. National Communal Harmony Award 2005. The Ramakrishna Mission was selected for an honorary mention of the UNESCO Madanjit Singh Prize for Promotion of Tolerance and Nonviolence 2002. The Ramakrishna Mission Ashrama of Chhattisgarh's Narainpur was jointly selected for the 25th Indira Gandhi Award for National Integration for the year 2009 with musician A. R. Rahman for their services in promoting and preserving national integration. In a speech made in 1993, Federico Mayer, Director General of UNESCO, stated I am indeed struck by the similarity of the constitution of the Ramakrishna Mission which Vivekananda established as early as 1897 with that of UNESCO drawn up in 1945. Both place the human being at the center of their efforts aimed at development. Both place tolerance at the top of the agenda for building peace and democracy. Both recognize the variety of human cultures and societies as an essential aspect of the common heritage. Topic. Branch centers As of 2018, the Math and Mission have 201 centers all over the world, 152 in India, 15 in Bangladesh, 14 in United States, 2 in Russia, and 1 each in Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, Fiji, France, Germany, Japan, Malaysia, Mauritius, Nepal, Netherlands, Singapore, South Africa, Sri Lanka, Switzerland, UK, and Zambia. Besides, there are few sub-centers attached to some of these centers. The Math and Mission run 748 educational institutions including 12 colleges, 22 higher secondary schools, 41 secondary schools, 135 schools of other grades, 4 polytechnics, 48 vocational training centers, 118 hostels, 7 orphanages, etc. with a total student population of more than 200,000. Besides these branch centers, there are about 1,000 unaffiliated centers popularly called private centers all over the world started by the devotees and followers of Sri Ramakrishna and Swami Vivekananda. The centers of the Ramakrishna order outside India fall into two broad categories. In countries such as Bangladesh, Nepal, Sri Lanka, Fiji and Mauritius, the nature of service activities is very much similar to India. In other parts of the world, especially in Europe, Canada, United States of America, Japan, and Australia, the work is mostly confined to the preaching of Vedanta, publication of books and journals and personal guidance in spiritual matters. Many of the centers outside India are called as the Vedanta Society or Vedanta Center. The Universal Prayer Hall of Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission, Agartala, was inaugurated on 7 February 2012 by the Vice President of the Bailur Math, Smarananda G. Maharaj. This formed a part of the celebrations of the 150th birthday of Vivekananda. The project and celebration is the outcome of laborious efforts of Purnatmanandaji Maharaj, Secretary of the Agartala branch of the Bailur Math. 
Topic former presidents The following is the list of presidents spiritual heads of the monastic order, Swami Vivekananda 1897 founder and general president from 1901 the term general president was dropped and the term president was adopted. Swami Brahmananda (1901–1922), Swami Shivananda (1922–1934), Swami Akhandananda (1934–1937), Swami Vijnanananda (1937–1938), Swami Shudananda (1938–1938), Swami Virajananda (1938–1951), Swami Shankarananda (1951–1962), Swami Vishudananda (1962–1962), Swami. Davananda 1962 to 1965 Swami Vareshwarananda 1966 to 1985 Swami Gambarananda 1985 to 1988 Swami Buchananda 1989 to 1998 Swami Ranganathananda 1998 to 2005 Swami Gahanananda 2005 to 2007 Swami Atmasthananda 2007 to 2017 Swami Smarananda 2017 present topic the heritage topic controversy in 1980, in an act that caused considerable debate within the order, the mission petitioned the courts to have their organization and movement declared a non-Hindu minority religion for the purpose of Article 30 of the Indian Constitution. They argued that the Ramakrishna's Neo Vedanta is a truer version of the ideals of Vedanta, and that this makes the followers of Ramakrishna eligible for the legal status of minority. The immediate cause for the appeal for minority status was because there was a danger that the local Marxist government would take control of its educational institutions unless it could invoke the extra protection that Article 30 of the Indian Constitution accords to minority religions. The mission did this as a matter of political necessity, there was a danger that the local government would take control of its charitable schools unless it could invoke the extra protection the Indian Constitution accords to minority religions. This episode highlights the legal and constitutional discriminations due to Article 30 of the Constitution. The constitutional bedrock of these discriminations is Article 30, which accords to the minorities the right to set up and administer their own schools and colleges, preserving their communal identity through the course contents and by selectively recruiting teachers and students, all while receiving state subsidies. This same right is not guaranteed to Hindus. While the Calcutta High Court accepted Ramakrishna Mission's pleas, the Supreme Court of India ruled against the mission in 1995, citing evidence that it had all the characteristics of a Hindu organization. The mission found it advisable to let the matter rest. Today it remains as a Hindu organization. The wisdom of the attempt by the mission's leadership to characterize the mission as non-Hindu was widely questioned within the membership of the organization itself, and the leadership today embraces the mission's status as both a Hindu organization and as an organization that emphasizes the harmony of all faiths. Most members, and even monks, of the Ramakrishna mission consider themselves Hindus, and the mission's founding figures, such as Swami Vivekananda never disavowed Hinduism. Topic see also List of publications by Ramakrishna Mission List of Ramakrishna Mission Institutions Ramakrishna Sarada Math Vedanta Society Baranagar Math Baranagar Ramakrishna Mission Topic References Topic Further reading Elst, Konrad. Who is a Hindu? Hindu Revivalist Views of Animism, Buddhism, Sikhism and Other Offshoots of Hinduism 2001, online version of Chapter 6 ISBN 978-8185990743 Swaroop, Ram, Ramakrishna Mission in Search of a New Identity, 1986 PDF in www.archive.org External links Official website Works by or about Ramakrishna Mission at Internet Archive About Ramakrishna Math and Ramakrishna Mission